introduction. Um, so we are on uh, week seven, and I believe this is uh, a really interesting uh, challenge. So you guys can see my screen, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, for this week, uh, for week seven, it's a really interesting and uh, a real world challenge or a challenge document. So uh, for this week, we are going to be working on uh, making a data driven uh, decision for uh, site relocation. So uh so when we consider about or when we are thinking about relocating not even for our not just for our uh, company as a whole but for individuals uh, when we uh, consider uh, relocating to a new ca country or a new city um so there are a couple of or uh, some variables that uh, we look into right so uh, for this week, uh, we are going to be making uh, decisions based on the data that we have and based on the requirements that, that the company has. So it's going to be a data-driven uh, decision-making for relocation of our company. So uh, what we want is uh, just to have a data mindset. So everything we're gonna do, everything we are going to recommend and conclude are, is going to be based on uh, the data. So, uh, so let's just uh, jump right into the project scenario. So uh, for this week, uh, we are going to be working in uh, a company called Preborn, and it's uh, like considering to move its headquarters into Africa. And we want to uh, find so there, uh, yeah, like the company wants uh, a city with clean air, uh, stable pollution level, uh, good air quality monitoring and affordable uh, affordable uh, living costs so these are the goals that we need to achieve when we are considering to reallocate or when we are uh, considering to recommend a city that uh, this company uh, can uh, uh, like move to in africa so the cho the goal is to, to choose a location that supports this uh, sustainable and provide uh, healthy, cost-effective environments for the employees. So our goal is to find a city where it's uh, the air is clean, uh, the cost of living is low, uh, it has good air quality and stable pollution le levels. So uh, here we're going to be wor working as uh, OM or operations manager, and we're going to be assigned to finding the best uh, city in Africa for uh, like, this purpose. So the specific goals that we are trying to achieve or uh, when recommending a city are uh, environmental quality, uh, like such as air quality uh, and uh, reliability of air quality. So we have a data for air pollution for uh, I think for cities. So we are going to be looking through them in order to find uh, like the sustainable one. And the uh, next one is uh, uh like uh, sustainability and health impact so we need to consider potential health benefits for the uh, employees by selecting a cleaner air so these two are uh, actually related uh, in, in some ways and the next one is um cost of li living so we need to find uh like a city that has a like a minimal or uh, an ideal uh cost of living. So we need to find a lower and a medium or a medium uh, cost of living expense uh, city. So we need to consider the expenses of housing, transport, utility, and like general uh, living expenses. Uh, and we need to evaluate the cost of living just to ensure the affordability for the employees. And then the last thing, what we are going to do is just uh, use AI tools, LLMs, to gener uh, create a report 
that summarizes the analysis that we have done earlier for the three points and present insights and uh, develop a presentation. Yeah. Um, so, any questions so, so far, guys? I'm out all right. Okay, that's good. Okay, so uh, the expected outcomes of this project are using uh, data analysis tools uh, to research uh, air quality monitoring systems. So we're going to be, for, as I've mentioned, the goals, the primary goal that we are trying to achieve is just to select a city that has a good air quality. And uh, uh, the next thing is going to be learning how uh, to uh, like visualize our data using Google Sheets. So we have been working with Google Sheets for some time now, and we are going to be adding more on this skill. And uh, we're going to be uh, also uh, diving deeper into the data analysis using advanced features for uh, Google Sheets. Uh, so we, we're going to be looking to extract more meaningful informations and uh, like informations that are going to help us to become more data driven uh, for ma making uh, a data driven de uh, decisions. And we're going to be also working with RBM principles uh, by synthesizing learning and presenting project outcomes and effective presentations with Google Slides. So this is for the introduction. So we have already provided um, the uh, data, the air quality data for, for countries or for cities, actually, if, uh, like one city country. So we have for Uganda, uh, Kenya, Nigeria, and Burundi. And the uh, data sets that we have provided includes this uh, column. So you're going to be working uh, with this data. So uh, just to have, uh, so it's collected for every month, uh, I think for four hours or five hours, five, uh, five hours. And we have the site latitude and longitude, the uh, city, date, uh, country, and uh, like the CO2 level, uh, the PM 2.5, the, nit the nitrogen uh, dioxide uh, density number, and the carbon mon monoxide density number, and of course the ozone density number. So you're, you're going to be working with this data in order to recommend a city with uh, a better uh, air quality. Um, so uh, for the key dates, so the challenge introduction, we just added. it. Uh, we are ha having it right now. And the interim submission and the final submissions are going to be on Wednesday and Saturday as usual. Uh, OK. So let's come to the project overview and the uh, individual tasks that we are going to be working on. Uh, uh, but before I start, are there any questions or anything that's not clear so far? Okay. Uh, I'm going to take that as a no and Let's move on. Okay, so uh, so the for the first task, you're gonna be working on uh, project uh, preparation. You're gonna be preparing uh, like uh, the basic data handling. So what you're gonna be le learning is just uh, the first thing you're gonna do is download the data set well that we have prepared and do some basic data cleaning and preparation use data
No. It's just for the air uh, quality. And these two uh, data are going to be okay. Uh, okay, am I breaking? Guys, am I breaking up? Maybe just go Hello? over the maybe you can just go over the task one. Yes. Okay, so I was breaking up, guys. Uh, Yes, just to start for task one. Okay, 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 okay. So, okay, for task one, you're gonna be working on uh, project preparation, right? So, uh, for the project pre preparation, you're gonna be downloading the uh, data set that we have provided and do some basic data cleaning and uh, preparation using uh, Google Sheets. Um, so, uh, like for this uh, task, the first task is going to be like just the basic data handling. So this is this task is for the uh, data that we have provided, which is on the air uh, pollution data that we have provided. Okay. So what you're gonna do is uh, the next thing on the task one. What, what you're gonna do is after you have cleaned and prepared your data set. What you're going to do is do some uh, data vi visualization using some uh, uh, data trained uh, visualization tools uh, like charts and by creating pivot tables. Like I think we have done, done this on week one, but you are going to also work on this one uh, here again. Okay, so I'm out of right, guys. Okay. I mean, I'm still breaking. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, now, so moving on. Uh, so for task two, so for task one, the data is just for uh, the for pollution rights for the air quality. And the, for task two, you're gonna be collecting uh, data related to uh, uh, the living co cost. So the second and the third, uh, like the second uh, goal that you want to achieve is have a city with a good cost of living or a minimal cost of li living. So you're going to be going through these two sites, sites that we have already provided in order to find, uh, like you're, you're going to find the housing, rent and utilities and the groceries, the education and the health uh, for that specific uh, city. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go with uh, to this the Nambio site and find the average rent for one bedroom apartment uh, for each city. So we have provided four cities, and you're gonna go uh, through every city and find these numbers. And also, you are also going to check the cost of groceries and healthcare for these cities. And you are going to, uh, like after collecting this data, you're gonna be uh, calculating the monthly rate uh, by uh, finding, uh, okay, uh, okay. So by finding the average uh, renting, uh, like rent for one bedroom apartment, and you are, uh, when you find this number, you are also going to find the utilities there. Uh, and uh, by going through the next site, you're going to find the groceries and the education and the healthcare cost. And you're going to calculate uh, what by adding these monthly costs and multiplying them by 12, you're going to find the annual cost. So this is going to be the average cost of living in that uh, city for a year. Right, and you might find the uh, like the rent or the money or the cost uh, in their local currencies. So make sure to convert every uh, like cost into 
dollars, uh, United States do dollars, uh, just to have some, uh, like, uh, just to become uniform. So, it's like here. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Uh, okay, so after you collect the data, you're gonna do some uh, data analysis. And what you're gonna do is uh, do some advanced uh, filtering and query functions. Uh, I think we have used some functions uh, on week five or week four. So you're, you're gonna be working more on that. And you're gonna be using uh, Google Sheets for uh, statical analysis and develop an interactive chart by using uh, Google Sheet charts and integrate these uh, sheets into uh, the Google D Data Studio. So we have worked with uh, the Google Data Studio on week one. So we're going to have a session again and uh, try to add some more on that. So it's going to be an interesting uh, project. Um, so after we have done all this, uh, the next task is going to be rec uh, reporting and the communications. So after the analysis, we're going to come up with some findings, right? So uh, after the findings, we're going to be developing a suitable uh, format for sharing our uh, like uh, results and communicate them. So what you're going to do is just uh, go through some generative AI tools like LLMs uh, uh, just to write your report uh, or develop or come up with a uh, draft. So for this, you are going to be using generative AI to develop a project report and to develop a slide uh, just to accompany the report. So. Uh, and for effective presentation with Google Slides, so you're going to be integrating your visualizations into the slides and tips for uh, effective storytelling with the data and how to use uh, generative AI for text and image generation is also going to be included in this task. Yeah, uh, so any questions be before I move on? Am I double, guys? <laughs> okay, good. So no questions there. Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. So for the deliverables, uh, so for the interim submission on Wednesday, you're gonna be submitting uh, task one and task two. So uh, for task one and ta task two, the deliverable is going to be a minimum of two page and the maximum of six page. And what you are going to be, uh, what we are going to be lo looking for is, uh, so your business understanding and the charts and findings from the data, from uh, the air quality data and from the expense data. And uh, like, no, I'm sorry, uh, you, the charts and the findings are going to be uh, for the task one. And for the task two, uh, data collections in tabular form. So the analysis is going to be on task three. Um, so minimum expectations is a minimum of task one uh, should be reflected. And ideally, parts of the, the task two uh, is should also be reflected in the um, report. And any further tasks would be appreciated, of course. And for the final submission, that's going to be on Saturday. Um, so we're going to be having, you're, you're going to be reporting uh, all the tasks from task one to task four. And uh, you're going to be submitting a minimum of three pages and a maximum of 10 pages. And a link to the uh, your dashboard on uh, Google Studio. And uh, the content of uh, your final report is going to have exclusive, uh, uh, exclusive summary, executive summary, and the project structure is going to have the data analysis and the final visualizations. 
that uh, you're gonna come up with and for a bonus you can include links uh, to the data studio and uh, uh, just this is especially useful for your seats heavy and and uh like when you report don't just report what you did uh so uh, since you are going to be wor working for the companies uh depending uh, just for this scenario you're gonna be wor working on a specific company and you are uh, the way is a like operations manager right so you're gonna have to come up with recommendations so uh, depending on the data or and depending on the analysis you did and depending on the final result that you have you're gonna have to come up with a recommendation. So, uh, like, you, you you're gonna recommend them the city that you think that would be a good fit, depending on the goals of the company, and make sure to have this uh, included in you. And the final one is your conclusion. Uh, just sum summarize the report and the next steps and advanced visualizations created in Data Studio. The Google Data Studio. This is going going to be uh, where uh, showcase your uh, uh, I think I lost you guys there. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, any questions? <laughs> so, so then it is easy. Like it's, uh, I think it's uh, seventh week. So, I think I believe or I hope that it is getting easier. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's move on to the questions. You can go. Okay, good morning. My good question morning. is this for the interim submission. It's stated that we should submit two to six pages, right? I was thinking it's going to be um, in Excel format since we are going to collect data. So so as you can see here, the data collected is going to be presented in tabular form so you can explain you can copy and paste them into the table or just export them as a table but uh, so you can do the collection on excel and uh, just present it in a tabular form or if, if that is a lot of work you can take screenshots but i would recommend that you uh, like copy and paste it into a table okay that's fine thank you okay thank you okay any other questions guys questions or is it clear like i think it's a super like interesting project like i'm i'm so interested uh for this project so uh who is also interested in the project can you show me some hands or who and like is there any anything that's not clear okay thank you guys so okay um uh, okay uh from the chat box um uh, and my touch okay um so when you are reporting uh for the task one uh you can include the charities uh from screenshots or you can export them into your docs and your pivot tables you, you you can just take a screenshots but uh like you're gonna i i believe you're gonna be creating the pivot tables just for visualization sake so like you can just share the visualizations or uh, if you want to share the uh pivot tables you you can also share them in a screenshot but uh if you include like you have to include these things and in addition, if you include uh, like a sled, uh, 
uh, uh, link to your uh, like Excel sheet, uh, the Google Sheets, that will that will be also great. So I think uh, for uh, I think last I think for week five there were some students that also that shared screenshots of their uh, graphs and also shared the links I think and I appreciated it a lot because uh, we can also go to that link, link and check it out. So you have to share the screenshots. But in addition, if you share the links, that will be also great. Okay, any other questions, guys? Or uh, if it is clear, show me some reactions and we can end the call. Okay, I think four people have. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you, Sosta, you too. Um, okay, let me just stop the recording. There are no questions.